Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I want to talk to you today on this Happy Blessing Day. I want to talk to you today about what is prophetic prayer? Get a lot of questions about that. It's a very, it's a highly searched for uh, topic, prophetic prayer. A lot of people talk about prophetic prayer. Most of the people who talk about prophetic prayer don't even know what it is. But it is real. It is real. And I'm going to tell you all about prophetic prayer and how to do it. It's very, very powerful. The reason I'm so interested in prophetic prayer is I come to find out I've been doing it for years. I didn't even know it. I didn't even know it. But I was doing it. I must have been led by the Holy Spirit. I hope so anyway, because when I started researching <clears throat> prophetic prayer, I found out that a lot of that is in this book. It's not, I didn't use the, the words prophetic prayer in this book, how to pray, but it's in there. And when you hear this series that we're starting on prophetic prayer, we're going to start getting results. I'm all about results. Amen. Also, make sure you call today for your blessing. I set aside, I'm trying to set aside Mondays to not schedule a lot of uh, activities for myself, such as flying the airplanes and stuff like that. I'm trying not to do that on Monday because I want to be available to take the calls. My phone rings just literally all day long on Monday with everybody wanting to get in on the blessing. And a lot of people call on Tuesday too. If you call and you don't get through, I'll call you back. I go down through there, and if there's red phone numbers that have that I haven't talked to, I'm going to hit that button. I'm going to hit it, and it'll call you back. I don't listen to voicemails, and I don't read emails, and I don't read too many long text messages, but uh, I will call people back. That's what I do. Amen. So I want to, and the reason I call people back is because I want to talk to you and I want to speak the blessing over you. Amen. I love the sound of your voice. And so that's why I call you back. Amen. This is probably the only large ministry in the country where the minister is so accessible. And people tell me that all the time. And I have one thing to say to you. I'm always here for you. When you partner with this ministry, I'm always here for you. I'm always ready to pray with you. People call me up to 11 o'clock at night, sometimes later. If I'm up, I'll answer the phone. When I go to bed, I turn the phone off because I need to rest because people will call from around the world during the night. And so I have to sleep sometimes. And in the afternoon, I rest for a little bit and I turn the phone off. But I'll call you back. Amen. Glory to God. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. We did. Nice big group of people there. Uh, we had Christmas at our house. Everything turned out great. It was wonderful. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I'm smart, getting smarter every day. Everything works out for me. God will provide. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Always say that every day. Every day, Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Glory to God, huh? Hey, uh, a lot of people are watching this in our Facebook group. Our Facebook group is Pastor Jim Kibler. You know, when you watch these videos in there, you can go to the top of the page and where it says invite you can invite your friends. People in your on your friends list, hit that button, invite, and go down through there and invite all of your friends to participate in this group. And put a message on uh, your regular Facebook page that says uh, to tell people about this group. Amen? Because a lot of people now are watching it in this group. And that's why we don't post it on our regular, on my regular Facebook page, because they don't show it to too many people. But in the group, everybody gets to see it. So that's why we're in the group. Plus, you can go to YouTube, my YouTube channel. 
A lot of people watch it there. So these videos are always available. Amen. Glory to God. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations. A lot of people do them on Monday. What is, the question is, what is prophetic prayer? Prophetic prayer is foretelling events. Prophetic. Prophecy. Prophecy is speaking, true prophecy, a prophet speaks into the future. A prophet speaks and tells you what is going to happen in the future. Now that's prophecy. That's, and how many true prophets are there? I don't know. Not too many. There used to be prophets. Isaiah was a prophet. Jeremiah was a prophet. Ezekiel was a prophet. Daniel was a prophet. Malachi was a prophet. Lots of prophets. Moses prophesied. A lot of people did. And the thing about these prophets in the Bible, everything they have ever said has come true. That is a prophet. A lot of people want to put themselves out there and call themselves prophets. But let me tell you something, folks, about prophecy. If a person is wrong one time, they are not a prophet. They're not a prophet. A true prophet is never wrong. Now, I don't know how much of a prophet I am. I do not call myself a prophet. I don't. If God designates me as a prophet, that will be different than I would. But so far, he has not told me that I'm a prophet. I'm a pastor. Amen? I do prophetic prayer. That I do with great results. I mean fantastic results, incredible results. But there's been some times when I've said things that have come to pass. For example, one time when I was preaching, this was probably 15 years ago, the Lord stopped me and spoke to me during the message. In my belly, I heard this voice. And the Lord said, somebody in here is going to get a million dollars to build or buy a church. So I told him. I said, the Lord just stopped me and told me these words. Somebody in here is going to get a million dollars to build or buy a church. And then I added, I said, don't ask me who it is because I don't know. The Lord didn't say. Well, afterwards, a man come up to me and he said, that's for me. He said, I think that's me. I said, it might be. I said, I think maybe it is you. I don't know. I told him, I don't know. Hey, if I don't know something, folks, I tell you, I don't know. And I said, I don't know. Well, it was for him. One year later, he held in his hand a check for a million dollars. Him and his son got a million dollars. The two of them. He didn't even tithe on the money. He didn't buy a church. He didn't build a church. He kept the money. And to this day, he's flat broke. Lost it all. Lost it all. He was in that position for such a time as this. That was his time. He missed it. He, he'd be worth tens of millions of dollars now if he would have done what he was supposed to do. But he didn't. He didn't. Didn't even tithe on it. So the million dollars wasn't even blessed. Huh? You get a huge chunk of money like that. Believe me, you want it blessed. I remember when Mary and I made a vow to tithe and just a few days later, we got a huge check in the mail. And the devil says, start next week. Start tithing next week. And I thought, ooh, is that from God? I said, no, that's not from God. We made out a tithe check. Biggest tithe check we ever made out. Huh? But we tithed on it. 10% of that money went out the door to the person we had made a vow to tithe to, the ministry. And I'm telling you what, since then we have become rich. 
I made rich. Glory to God. Huh? Decreeing, declaring, or commanding that God will do something. To declare that God will do something is prophetic prayer. To declare that God will do something is prophetic prayer. When you combine that with a prayer, that makes that prayer prophetic. Now, people don't do that. I do. I declare all the time. People say, I say, people call me and they say, oh, Pastor Jim, I need a job. I say, how do you want me to pray? Pray that I get a new job, Pastor Jim, because I need a new job. I say, in the name of Jesus, you will have a wonderful, high-paying new job very quickly. Two weeks later, they call me back. Pastor Jim, I got a great job. I say, praise God. That was prophetic prayer. How simple is that? So simple. I decreed, I declared that God would do something. And he did. Did I hear from God? No. No. I didn't hear God's voice. I did not. Believe me, if I hear God's voice, I will tell you. If I didn't hear it, I'll tell you that too. No, I didn't hear it. But the priest has that authority to do that. You can do it too if you have that kind of faith. Folks, let me tell you something. This ministry operates on a level that nobody else out there right now is operating on. I just got through reading Charisma Magazine. I read it from cover to cover early this morning before anybody else in the house ever got up. I'm up at between four and five. And I sat there and, and read Charisma Magazine and read all the stories of all those people. And let, me and, and let me tell you something, folks. Nobody out there is, you know, Joyce Meyer was talking about, bless her heart, wonderful minister. She was talking about the key to breakthrough. Can I tell you this? She has no idea how to get a breakthrough. Bless her heart. Wonderful ministry. But she has no idea how to make a breakthrough happen. I do. She doesn't realize what blocks breakthrough and how to remove it. Get closer to God, she says. Develop a better prayer life, she says. I don't remember all the points. But it was just all stuff that's not going to change anything. We all want to get closer to God. We all want to develop a prayer life. We all want to consecrate ourselves to God. But that doesn't cause breakthrough, folks. But she thinks it does. And that's just an example of, of these people out there. I know how to get a breakthrough for people. I know how to make it happen. I break the curse of the law in your life and that will cause breakthrough to happen and speak the blessing. People have no revelation of that. She has no revelation that that's what it takes to make it happen. I do. I have revelation and she never mentioned the fact that it's the name of Jesus that causes all that to happen. Hello? What's this all about? I use the name of Jesus to make prophetic prayer work. Stay with me on this. We're going to explore prophetic prayer this week. You're going to like this. You call me. I'll show you how it works. I'll use it on your behalf, and we'll get your prayers answered. Make sure you call me today for the blessing. Today's blessing day. And make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations, especially because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you. And believe me, that is prophetic. And it works every single time.